Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Who is so proud of me for vlogging? I am proud of myself. We're gonna start off with a bit of a rant. A rant of positivity, we'll just say that. Um, I am currently sitting in my bathroom and yes, there's a large ladder in here because I am, I was gonna try to change the light bulbs in my closet, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, there's a ladder behind me, if you can see it. But, while um, I sort of talk and rant, um, I'm going to be getting ready because I'm going to have to film something else. So let's scoot you back because I feel like you're super close and all up in my business. All my makeup is in a bag that I took with me out of town that I never even ended up putting on makeup. Okay, here's the rant. So, as you know, there's often times on Twitter that I get all kinds of crazy messages. Um, ranging from whatever. There's always just something crazy going on. A majority of the time, they're very positive. Which is super great, you know? And I appreciate it, and I love it. But there are times where I will... I'm not even gonna lie, there are times where I'll just search my name on Twitter because there are times where there'll be like articles or other things that come out um, that are written about me that I'm not tagged in or I didn't know they were published that day. So kind of regularly I will search my name and check and there's always something, you know, I never know what to expect when I Search my name. So, this is what has started me wanting to rant. So, I go and I look at my Twitter. Okay, there's two things. There's a comment on Instagram that we'll get to later, but then also the um, comment, the tweet that I saw. So, the tweet, I'll put it up on a screen, but there's, you know, there's a picture of me. And the tweet says, I don't think any guy in your threads would date Lizzie Velasquez. Me. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that to be mean, God bless her, but she's physically unattractive. Lizzie is a female insole. I don't even know what an insole is. So I don't think it's as simple as lose weight. Some men are physically repulsive. Okay. So let's start with the fact that I understand how attraction works. I get it. I know I get it. Some people might not be attracted to other people for certain reasons and some might be attracted to you because you have the qualities and physical attributes that they like. You know? Great. That's all wonderful. But when it comes to you telling someone you don't, no one's gonna date you. No one's gonna date you, let's just be honest, um, because you're not what society holds as attractive. That's sort of where I feel like things cross the line. And I mean, I'm not, saying all of this stuff because my feelings are hurt because they're obviously not but it's more of just like I feel like people need to know girls and guys that other people's opinions shouldn't define how you feel or look at yourself in the mirror at all because beauty is something that is not beauty isn't one definition of something beauty is what you see beauty is owning your own uniqueness in this world and shining it, <laughs> putting a light on it. Look, I'm wearing a shirt that says be the light. That's for me what I think beauty is. Someone on TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, they do not have the right to tell you whether you're attractive or someone should be dating you or 
Well, my memory card was full, so we had to start all over. Um, not start all over, we're just gonna continue. So, what I was saying was, there is no one definition of beauty. And yes, I realize while I am saying all of this stuff, I'm putting makeup on. I think my point with all of this is really just letting you know that the only person you need to feel hold you on this certain level of beauty or standards is yourself. You are the only one who has the right to fully embrace and express and own your uniqueness, your differences, because your differences are what makes you unique. For me, I it took me so long to be able to accept the nose that I have because I hated looking sideways because it's big right there. I hated the fact that my chin goes in more because it's smaller than my mouth. I hated that my teeth were too big for my mouth. I hated that I had this big <laughs> forehead. I hated that my eyes were two different colors. There were so many things that I hated and I realized very quickly that I was missing out on so much that I was given. So much that I was blessed with and I was just hating what I thought everyone else would think was not attractive or not pretty. And if I would have seen a tweet like the one that I just saw that I just shared with you, if I would have seen that back when I was like 13 or 14, that would have been bad because I would have believed it. I would have said they're so right. I'm not attractive and no one is going to want to date me and, and all of these other things. But the good news is I'm here to not only tell myself, but to tell you guys, if anyone ever tells you something like this, don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. I feel like now TikTok is something that is so popular and I'm not even going to lie. I, I fell in the hole of TikTok and I sit there for hours and I cannot stop scrolling because it's just so addicting. Um, hold on, I'm looking for eyeshadow. I don't know what I want to use. This is what I'm doing. I have you guys right there. Um, we're gonna do something simple because honestly, I'm not going anywhere and I really just wanted to do my makeup for this video. Okay. Let me make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth because I feel like every time I wear red lipstick, I end up looking like the teacher from Clueless. <laughs> okay, so it is the next day and I am over the moon at the response that I got from what I posted on Instagram after I recorded the first clip of me explaining to you what um, my rant about beauty standards and all of that stuff. And I have a feeling that this is going to turn into something a lot more that we can do together because I cannot, I cannot express how happy I am. So after I recorded telling you about this tweet and my response, I decided that I wanted to include your beautiful faces in this video, mostly because for so often I, I talk about the importance of owning your own uniqueness and you know, letting it shine to the world. Well, hello, I have a platform to help you shine, so I'm going to use it. And I posted this post on Instagram and told you guys to tag me in hashtag beauty with Lizzie. And at first there was only a few, then it started becoming more and more. And now there's so many when you search the hashtag, all of your beautiful faces. And uh, I'm just so happy. You guys, if we come together 
and we really spread this message that no one is allowed to set I'm not exaggerating when I tell you whichever camera I've used the battery has died at least three times in the middle of making this video and I'm in a new angle now because the battery died and I have to go get another one <sighs> okay anyway back to the exciting stuff so with all of this being said, I am so grateful for you guys. I want to really, really, really encourage you to take this message out to your friends, to your Instagram, to your Twitter, to your Facebook, to your TikTok, to whatever it is, and remind others that it is no one's job or responsibility or right to tell you whether you are attractive or beautiful or whatever it is or not. It is your right. It is your choice to decide what beauty is. And for me, that is something that is so powerful and I want you guys to be able to have this feeling as well. So I think the hashtag beauty with Lizzie is gonna be something that we can keep together and keep growing and use it at different times when we might need that extra encouragement that you are enough. So I'm gonna stop talking and I want to show you all of your beautiful faces and show you that we are a community that supports each other. It's not just me and you on the other side of the screen. It's me and you and people from all over the world. So without further ado, please enjoy all of these beautiful people who are starting this journey with us together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I promise I will be back for another one. Um, who knows what it's gonna be about, but for this one, it just turned into something extra special and I hope you liked it. Okay, I love you guys, bye!